Postnationalism or non-nationalism is the process or trend by which nation-states and national identities lose their importance relative to cross-nation and self-organized or supranational and global entities. Although postnationalism is not strictly considered the antonym of nationalism, the two terms and their associated assumptions are antithetic as postnationalism is an internationalistic process. There are several factors that contribute to aspects of postnationalism, including economic, political, and cultural elements. Increasing globalization of economic factors, such as the expansion of international trade with raw materials, manufactured goods, and services, and the importance of multinational corporations and internationalization of financial markets, have shifted emphasis from national economies to global ones. At the same time, socio-political power is partially transferred from national authorities to supranational entities, such as multinational corporations, the United Nations, the European Union, the North American Free Trade Agreement (NAFTA), and NATO. In addition, media and entertainment industries are becoming increasingly global and facilitate the formation of trends and opinions on a supranational scale. Migration of individuals or groups between countries contributes to the formation of postnational identities and beliefs, even though attachment to citizenship and national identities often remains important. <laughs> postnationalism and human rights In the scholarly literature, postnationalism is linked to the expansion of international human rights law and norms. International human rights norms are reflected in a growing stress on the rights of individuals in terms of their personhood, not just their citizenship. International human rights law does not recognize the right of entry to any state by non-citizens, but demands that individuals should be judged increasingly on universal criteria not particularistic criteria such as blood descent in ethnicity, or favoring a particular sex. This has impacted citizenship and immigration law, especially in Western countries. Germany, for example, has felt pressure to, and has diluted, if not eradicated, citizenship based on ethnic descent, which had caused German-born Turks, for example, to be excluded from German citizenship. Scholars identified with this argument include Yasemin Soysal, David Jacobson, and Saskia Sassen. In the European Union The European integration has created a system of supranational entities and is often discussed in relationship to the concept of postnationalism. In Canada In 2015, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau while defining Canadian values declared his country to be the world's first postnational state. In the media Catherine Frost, professor of political science at McMaster University, argues that while the Internet and online social relations forge social and political bonds across national borders, they do not have the commitment or cohesiveness needed to underpin a demanding new mode of social and political relations. In sports Postnational trends have been evident in professional sports. Simon Cooper called the 2008 European Soccer Championship UEFA Euro 2008, the first postnational European Championship. He argues that during the tournament both for players and fans sportsmanship and enjoyment of the event were more important than national rivalries or even winning. See also Anti-globalization movement Digital currency Global citizenship Identity politics Transnationalism Tribe Internet Types of nationalism World Wide Web